Hey there, fellow true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another unboxing review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Collectors Corp. This theme is Marvel Studios, the first 10 years. Now, take a look at the box. I think it looks really cool. I actually like this box a lot. I mean, it looks really cool. You get the Marvel Studios 10 years logo. You get the Marvel Collectors Corp here. On the side, on the back here, same thing here. On the other side, same thing. And on the bottom, nothing much. Nothing much else. And also on the top, there's no... We got the Aldi Marvel Studios the first 10 years. And there's no address thing. I'm glad Funk, I'm glad Amazon didn't put the address there. Just like the Venom box. Because it, it ruins the box. But this one looks... But the box looks cool, looks really good because Amazon just put like a shipping box, a cardboard box here, and inside of it. I mean, very well done. And it has four pieces mystery box, so let's release, let's open it up. Let's see, here. They got this little pez of the Hulk. Hmm, interesting. We got two mystery minis. All the Marvel, all the pint sized heroes of the Marvel first 10 years. And also, let's bring out the big guy here. This is the movie moment itself. And you got Iron Man for the Whiplash movie moment. And that's about it. So, that's about it. Nothing more here. And also you get the little, little thing here. What's inside of it. You get, and also all that stuff here. And on the back here, the X-Men box is coming soon. Well, uh, to be honest, let me go with the um, movie moment first. The movie moment looks cool, but... I did not expect it what I thought to be. I thought it might be a pop of Pepper Potts because we never we never have a Pepper Potts pop. Or a Chrome Gold Nebula. I would like to see that because, again, Nebula is one of my favorite MCU characters. Uh, or Vulture or Gold Chrome Gork. Nothing much. I mean, it's just... I mean, I do like these movie moments, but I, I would suspect it for something else. And also, for the um, Pop Pez, I do collect the Pop Pez. I do have, like, the uh, Loki, Thor, and and Star-Lord Gold Pop Pez that I ordered from Funko Shop. I mean, they're not bad. I like them. But, again, that's not how I expect it. And also you get two mystery mini, I mean two pint sized heroes. One of them includes Thor and and Thanos. I mean they're not bad. I don't collect pint sized heroes again, but yeah, it's, it's just not that bad. But overall, I kind of disappointed of this box. I'm and I'm and I think this box is okay. I mean. I do like this, you know, I, I you know how much I like Marvel so much. I mean, I didn't expect to get a, a Whiplash pop. I really wish we get like the Whiplash, you know, the single carded one. I mean, hey, we got a, a movie moment Whiplash. I'm okay with that. Cannot wait to do a review on this one. And cannot wait, cannot wait to do a review on these two. And I also am going to do a review on maybe... A single, maybe it's just a single card at this. Uh, but overall, for $32, I don't think it's not worth that much. I do like this set. I do like the Pint Size Heroes and the Pez, but again, not worth $32. And I'm hoping the X-Men box has good, good stuff in it. But overall... Again, not worth $32. I really wish this box just lowers down to about, I'm going to say about 20 bucks, And then later t tax would be like 22 bucks. Yeah, 
like I said, not worth 30 bucks, not worth $32. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified new videos after you subscribe. Actually, since I'm uploading this on my sec on this channel, you know, JR369 Extra. So there won't be a daily channel because I was too busy other things. So, bye.